Okay, we get it. So you took a lot of math courses, but how do they relate to computer science? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the best place to build your tech career and have fun along the way. On Tuesdays, I upload makeup and lifestyle videos, and on Fridays, I upload tech and career related videos. Today, I'm super excited to share with you a video that answers questions I get all the time. Do you need math to learn computer science? Do you need math to learn how to program? Do you need to be good at math for coding? Maybe you're in school right now and you're wondering which math courses are required for a computer science degree, or maybe you're curious about learning how to code on your own. In this video, I will break down the different math courses I've taken and how they directly relate to the field of computer science. Be sure to watch to the end of this video for the best advice on this and subscribe for more tech and career related content. With that, let's get into the video. So for a little bit of context, if you're new here, I'm Liz. I graduated in May 2020 as a double major in mathematics and computer science. I have a video out on my full course schedule from freshman to senior year if you're curious, and I also have a video detailing my academic journey and what led me to choose those two majors in case you are interested. Now we're ready to take a look at the mathematics courses I took in college. So here's a little overview. The total undergraduate mathematics courses I took was 14 courses, which equated to 43 credits. Now, seven courses were required for the computer science major, and then the other seven courses that I took were for my math major. So here's a list of those computer science required math courses. They include Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Logic for Math and Computer Science, Applied Math for Science and Engineering 1, Linear Algebra, Calculus 3, and Probability, and this equated to 24 credits. Here's a list of the math major courses, mathematics courses which I took that were not required for my computer science degree. They included History of Math, Introduction to Mechanics, Introduction to Mechanics Lab, because at the time my school required for the math major that we took physics. I also took Real Analysis, Independent Study, Mathematical Statistics, and Topology and this equated to 19 credits. So again, to summarize, I took 14 total math courses and seven of them were required for the computer science major. Okay, we get it. So you took a lot of math courses, but how do they relate to computer science? Let's get into that. So now we're gonna break down the math courses that were required for my computer science degree. The first courses we see here are Calculus 1 and 2, and these act as foundational courses because other later math courses build off of Calculus 1 and 2, and Calculus 1 has to deal with analytic geometry, differential and integral calculus, and then Calculus 2 has to deal with integration, infinite series, and differential equations. The next course that I took was Logic for Math and Computer Science. This has to deal with mathematical proof techniques, sets, infinity, and graphs, and this relates to computer science because it introduces you to logical reasoning and proofs and algorithms, and understanding algorithms is essential in computer science. After that, I took Applied Math for Science and Engineering 1, which had to deal with ordinary differential equations and operational techniques, and this also introduced me to matrix algebra. Moving on to the next three courses, I took Linear Algebra, which has many applications in computer science and is probably what I consider to be the most important course to take for a computer science role. And this course covered systems of linear equations, matrix algebra and operations, vector spaces of three or more dimensions, linear independence, inner product spaces, linear transformations and their matrices, determinants, eigenvalues, and eigenvectors. As you can see, linear algebra covered a lot of different topics, and this is especially useful for handling different data sets and matrices in later computer science programs. I also took Calculus 3, which is used in computer graphics and game design. This course covered calculus of several variables, partial derivatives, multiple integration, elements of vector calculus, 
and elements of differential equations. This course is especially important for modeling things in 3D, so that's why when you see video games and you see your little game character and how they move and interact with the game, equations from Calculus 3 are used to code computer games and video games. Lastly, I took Probability, which has applications in data science, bioinformatics, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. This course covered probability axioms, conditional probability, discrete and continuous sample spaces, random variables and common distributions, jointly distributed random variables, and the central limit theorem. Now that we understand a little bit more about the math courses and the applications that they have in computer science, let's get back to the main question. Do you need to be good at math to be good at computer science? My answer, no. You do not need to be good at all types of math. However, learning math helps you reason logically and solve different kinds of problems. My best advice to you is to research a job position in computer science that interests you, find out what math courses are helpful for it or relevant to it, and then go from there. So that's my answer to what math do you need for computer science. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this video and that it's helpful to you. If you have a question or a topic that you'd like me to cover in a future video, please comment it down below. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Tuesday with a new video.